Hello, I'm Tenran432, and welcome back to my favorite Mega Man Zero game. Um, in the last part, we took down one Maverick and explored Resistance Base. And, uh, now we're hopefully going to be taking out the rest of them. Um, they're not Mavericks, I just remember that. Again. Um, but I think I might have some Cyber Elves? No? Okay. Uh, the cool thing about this game is you can do the Cyber Elves whenever you want. Okay, we only have one Maverick left. Um, this next stage, I this is a pretty good stage. It's a weapons factory, and they're it says they're fixing or refitting um, weapon technology, and they're making more efficient weapons. So we need to destroy the factory and cut the military power. So we do this, and hopefully they won't be able to, uh, there won't be as much enemies to fight. I hope. I don't think it actually works though. Anyway, here we go. Ahead is the factory control unit. Data from cameras in the factory is sent to the unit. Destroy the cameras as you proceed. All right, so here we go. Uh, here's the stage. Uh, some pretty cool music, even though if you listen to it for too long, it might get repetitive. And I'm currently trying to kill Zero. That way I can get extra lives because zero lives is not a lot. So here we go. Like they said in the mission um, brief, the brief or whatever, this is like a factory stage and uh, we have to destroy those cameras that we saw. So an enemy that shows up a lot are those mice and then also there are these hammer things. If you take out your uh, recoil rod, you can, and fully charge it, you can do this and ram it into the ceiling, or as far as it goes. And this does come useful in the certain parts of the stage because it might break the ceiling and uh, open up a secret disc or something like that. Of course, none of that there. Obviously, you can't see anything in the ceiling. So I don't know why I did that. So let's destroy this next camera and get the health. There we go. Also, there's that light chip we got earlier. It's the one that turns zero green. It's um, The description was, ignores crumbling terrain. That, those um, piles that I was sinking into are considered crumbling terrain. So if you equip the, that item, or that form, then you will not fall or sink into that, into that surface thing. Surface thing. Um, anyway, here's an example of using the uh, recoil rod and these mallet things. And, um, yeah, got a secret disc. And skipped out on the e crystals because they're too hard to get. Anyway, um, these mice might be a little hard when they all come at you at once. You'll get hit at least once. Unless you uh, take them out with like a fully charged shot your Z Buster, or whatever you call it. Also, there are these swinging electricity wires, which I don't think you would see in a, an efficient factory, but you, got, you can blow those up. If you uh, cut them at the bottom of the wire, then it gets explodey. Yeah, descriptive words, huh? Anyway, uh, yeah. I think we're at the mini boss now. Yeah, there we are. So uh, here's the mini boss. I don't remember the strategy. I don't have a really good strategy for it. But basically, it looks like a huge beehive or something. And then these bees come out of it. And while it opens up like that, you can hit it with your weapons. And it also shoots out honey, which is very sticky and slows slows down zero. So yeah, makes sense. Robot bees.
And yeah. So let's continue on. We got the secret disc, which we will cover in, an, in a bonus episode. Bonus episode. Bonus episode. And more health. Never too much health. And um, we got some conveyor belt things. I forgot what they were called for a minute there. Um, throwing junk down, which actually kind of makes sense, uh, considering the factory aesthetic of the stage. Is that even the right word? Do I even know what I'm talking about? Anyway, um, that was cool. The mice just jumped over me. Let's continue on. Grab the secret disc, whatever's on it. I think it's the boss data. I don't know, though. And I think we might almost be at the boss. I don't know. You might have seen the switch that I hit earlier, and that just changed the direction of the conveyor belts. I'm pretty sure. It, if I know what I'm talking about. And there's another switch. Let's change the direction again. I think we are almost there. Almost. So we just gotta go underneath these. And it should be right ahead of us. Or maybe I just don't remember the level correctly. Okay, maybe it's a little further. Never mind. And down here, there's a secret disc right there, kind of hiding behind the pipe. Uh, you can still see it though. And then more mice or whatever. And here's the boss door. I am pretty sure the weakness of this boss is ice, but um, I'm not completely sure. Okay, never mind. I'm pretty much sure. Anyway, um, so this dude is trying to enjoy his little tea break, and I've disturbed his peace and quiet, and now he's gonna teach me manners by killing me. So, yay. Um, so yay. Prepare to be educated by Helvat Schilt. Kiki ki. The first lesson a gentleman must learn in refinement is... Intruders are to die without a f <laughs> Okay. It's time to learn. <laughs> anyway, fighting this dude is uh, kind of annoying because you're going to hit him, right? And then he just, he just teleports away. Uh, the only really chance you have is with your fully charged shot, so always be charging. But then he just teleports like teleports away like that. So you gotta wait until he tries to attack you or something. Because that's pretty much the only chance that you have of getting any damage in. Because he just, he just loves teleporting. Sometimes he does that little lunge attack. And he doesn't teleport away immediately. But still though, you gotta be pretty quick with this guy. Speaking of pretty quick, there we go. Apparently we have no manners because we didn't die so yeah uh, I have a flunked the education and learning with hell that shield yay anyway uh, here's the mission results still a C not an A or an S rank or anything here's some new chips got some cyber elves and some crystals so we're not that far into the video so let's try one more mission whatever that is I mean, it's not like well, I know what it is or anything. So that we're transferred back. Let's see what Seal has to say. Apparently, um, she thinks that the recycling plant will be out of order for a while. So that's nice. I bet if I go back there, there's gonna be enemies everywhere. Oh, okay. So there's a missile factory, and we're also searching for the Dark Elf. And we gotta get rid of the missile factory, and we're looking for the Dark Elf. I just said that twice. Anyway, um, I didn't read anything that she was just saying, but, uh, there's a mystery, a little missile factory involved, and they're scanning the Dark Elf, nothing yet, and Zero understands. So now we get to take a little break and watch a little cutscene. Cha-ching! Meanwhile... Master X, do you still trust that man, Wile? His banishment did not follow official cha-channels. 
Just because what he did resulted in cal terrible calamity d d does not mean that banishing him is was justified. He has returned to New Arcadia in a legal manner. What reason is, is there to drive him out? Don't worry. He has learned, learned many things from his mistakes in the past. He'll do the right things th this time. But... <laughs> Thank you, Master X. I, Dr. Wilde, shall never repeat my past mistakes. Never again. Yes. <laughs> mm, very reassuring. Still, to gossip about me behind my back. My, how the almighty four guardians have fallen. Well, it's only three now. One actually fell. What? Wilde. Master X, a dark elf has appeared in New Arcadia. Area Z3079. It's the farthest area from here. A human residential district. We'll go. Leviathan and Fefni are still undergoing maintenance, but if we hurry things along a bit. Harpuya, how long do you plan to act, act like you're in charge? Letting th the, the resistance arm and the resistance get away. I forgot what I was reading. I'm tired of useless p p people like you. Four guardians are going to be stepped down. But Master X, Dr. Weil, I'm entrusting you with the leadership of our uh, armies. Will you accept? <laughs> yes, sir. I will capture the Dark Elf without fail. Before she falls into the hands of the resistance and becomes a threat to this world. Thanks, Dr. Wile, you're such a good person. Meanwhile, preparations have begun to, for the launch of the missile. We don't know the target area, but we are attempting to hack our way in and find out. A tremendous energy is emanating from the missile. It seems that Omega is aboard. Omega? That Omega? On the missile? Yeah. Seal, enter the coordinates you found. That, that's dangerous. Operator, hurry up and prepare for transfer. Zero, I'm not sure about this. I believe in you. Dot dot dot. Okay, enter the, the data. Please transfer. Understood. Commencing transfer preparations. Using the correct voice. You made it! Oh, what a relief! Have you determined the missile's target? The target is Area Z-3079. What? That's a human residential district. Wait, that's not all. The Dark Elf's there, too! So he's trying to jump right in and take the Dark Elf. Understood. Well, here we go. Missile base. Um, so in this stage, there are these cameras here, and you can blow them up. I'm not sure if you get any more mission points, but they're there to blow up and stuff. So, uh, da -da -da, keep going, blow up the cameras. Not the w hardest stage. Usually the um, story-based stages aren't that hard. Well, actually, they are sometimes. But anyway, get the secret ship by <laughs> doing that. You could use the double jump, and I'm pretty sure you could just jump across by using a dash jump, but... You know, I'm obviously don't want to die on camera or anything, so I'm just gonna grab all the secret discs I can without failing, and you know, letting Zero die, you know, on camera. That would just be the worst thing that could possibly happen during my YouTube video. Oh, well, there it goes, life. Slipping away from my fingertips. I don't even know what that's from. <laughs> I just made that. Okay, whatever. Back to the video. I'm not sure how that's gonna sound in the recording. Oh well. Never mind. Um, don't want to get the secret disc twice. I already got it once. That made sense. Totally. Uh, so let's continue on. Avoid that very, very carefully. More secret discs. Yay. 
and wait for the camera. And then uh, we kind of have full health here, so we probably won't die this next part, but who knows? I haven't played this in quite a bit, so let's keep going, try not to get killed by these birds. Check out that sunset, man. This is a Game Boy Advance game, and I can't tell the difference between that and real life. That ocean looks so realistic. Oh well, uh, go up this elevator that's conveniently placed, and grab the secret disc as completionists for the win. And not sure what happened there. Guess I got crushed by the uh, elevator going up. Okay, you know what? There, there you go. I'm just gonna do that. Load, speed up, and just jump across like that. It's so much better. Jump back up and keep going. I think we are almost at the end of the stage. Maybe we're not. Maybe we have a few, few hours left to go. Uh, no, but I think we're pretty close, though. Let's go up a few more elevators. I don't know what I'm trying to do with that. Um. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, right, because this wall up here. My efforts for no fruit. Oh, well. Continue on with the stage, like I said earlier. Go up more elevators, more conveniently placed elevators. Um, and then go up this... How do I think of it? If anything fell down that treadmill thing, I call it a treadmill, but... Oh, well. If anything went down there, it would just land on the floor, and then it would start piling up. But... Oh, whatever. This is not my missile factory. Going this way, maybe there's something, something secret. Yep, there it goes. Now we got that. Keep going. So close. I think there's the door. Okay, I think this is it. Or maybe not. Maybe we have to keep going. Oh yeah, we're on the rocket now. Oh wait, sorry. Spoilers. Not so spoilers. It's about five seconds in the future. Okay, we're on the rocket now, and. We're going pretty fast. Zero, don't get me closer. Let's act now while well, Omega is immobile. I'll sneak in and stop both him and the missile. Zero! Well, we'll see how that plan goes. Um, I'm willing to bet that he won't be able to stop Omega. Because, you know, we've only fought four robot masters and stuff. And the, the rocket's already going pretty fast and stuff. But anyway, now we're inside of the rocket, so that's that's nice. There's some nice collectible stuffs in here. Um, okay, I'm, I'm not sure about collectible. There's an extra life and some extra health stuff. So yeah, get that if you really need it. I mean, I don't know why it's in this rocket, but whatever. Extra life up there. I totally need that, so I'm just gonna hurry. <laughs> grab it before I get blown away. And there's that health pack up there. You can kind of see it a little bit. And here we are. Boss doors means boss, right? Here we go. I wonder who- Oh, it's these guys. Baby elves! He came! The bad reploid! He came! The nasty reploid! Omega will go rescue mama! Don't get in his way! Leave! <laughs> we'll protect him from you! Don't get in his way! Leave! And here we go. Their true form. Um. So yeah, this fight's pretty simple. I, I, in my opinion, uh, you don't have to memorize the attack patterns. It's fairly, fairly easy. Uh, you know, except when they do that. Um. But they mostly float around like this, and then they go like that when they let go. <laughs> it's not. Uh, it's kind of creepy. But anyway, uh, something that's pretty easy to do this fight is hit one with your charge buster and hit the other with your charge saber. And then, you know, because only one of them has invulnerability flames at a flames frames at a time, so you should be able to do double damage. Oh, and apparently that hurt, so... We may have lost, but the missile will land soon! Our mission is a success! Success is success! We may have lost, but we'll see our mama soon! Our mission is a success. And ours a failure. Nope.
Well, it would appear to be that we failed our mission. Oh, apparently we got 100% on the mission. Okay, whatever. All oh, right, back to back to um work, yes. Grrrr. Oh no, the residential area got blown up. Yay, mama, mama. <laughs> My favorite characters too. Act. Yay, mama, mama. Oh no. What are you doing? Grrrr. Now it's uh, Mega's true form because it's gold, obviously. Uh, obviously, there's not like two more forms of Omega that we'll have to fight later in the game or anything. Oh, I'm sorry, Gurara. Hey, can you beat up that bad Ripley for us? Yeah, can you beat up that fake Ripley for us? Stop calling me that, I'm not fake. Zero isn't fake. Also, he just phased through the baby elves. Oh, hi, Ripley. Um, we, the Reploids of New Yorkadia. We are defenders of humanity. The only justice here. Is this wasteland what you people call justice? Wild! Alright, go ahead. Try to attack Omega. Hi. That was pretty sad. Arg! I. I am. Harbuya! Perfect! Get him! Get him! Zero, don't move. I'll transfer you to the base. Now. Transferring. Transferring. That timing was perfect. Honestly, it was just the best timing ever. Okay, well now we're back at the base. Uh, we, residential area blew up. Totally not our fault. It's Wild's fault. Uh, we did not get Omega, so... Mm. So, Harper is in the maintenance room. Being maintenanced. So, today is not a good day in Reploid history, so yeah, it's pretty sad, actually. And are those operators wearing, like, VR helmets? Because they have a screen in front of them, and if they did, it's just kind of weird, in my opinion. Oh well. Um, I, I forgot to read the text stuff. Uh, oh well. So I guess I'll end the video here because, uh, you know, it's been a few minutes of recording, and cough, cough, yeah, I'll, I'll end the video here, oh, hold on, wait, so somebody broke into the, oh, it's New Arcadia, oh, sorry, didn't, didn't mean to send you guys away early, put them through, New Arcadia is calling, so, yeah, can you hear me, members of the resistance, and Dr. Seal, Copy X. We have custody of the d Dark Elf. Let us put a, a stop to this foolish conflict. Yeah, I did the voices wrong for these things. We ask you to, to to surrender to us. Surrender. Hand over the new energy you invented. The seal system. If you do this, I can guarantee the safety of you Mavericks. He's gotta be. As a result of the analysis of our analysis of the seal system, information you sent so kindly sent us, we have determined that by combining it with the Dark Elf, it may be possible to generate enormous amounts of energy. That would solve the energy crisis in one fell swoop. There would no longer be a reason for us to fight. Seal, a single answer from you will bring peace t t to the world. Say yes, say yes. I can't trust you. What was that? You were prepared to sacrifice humans to obtain the Dark Elf. I can't trust you after seeing that. You cannot have the seal system. I was built so the human skin reploids could live in peace. Is that your answer? Fine. You have a, mo a monopoly on energy resources. And zero. A reploid with terrifying f fighting skills. You're, you're nothing. You're nothing more than filthy, filthy extremists. Seal, I, I was holding, uh, holding up back until now, because you, 
You were there, human. Now, now you can face the consequences along with your maverick friends. The transmission was cut off. The New Yorkian military has begun advancing on our base from multiple areas. They launched a total offensive. Oh no, that was fast actually, that was really fast. You believed in yourself and fought. The citizens didn't see the word. Tell me which area is there in. I'll intercept. Zero. Displaying the New York Kitty and. Uh, <laughs> Let me do the voice wrong. Well, it's just... Anyway, for the rest of the video, I'll just messing around with, like. Um. Not Game Genie. Whatever that is for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, so yeah. That's the end of the video, guys. Like, the real end of the video. So yeah, peace. And. Cheap.